I'm going to make this real easy for you. This ship looks pretty dang cool. That's why people like it. All right, pack it up. We're done here. Mm, no, not quite. Is the Crusader Mercury Star Runner actually any good? As much as people seem to think that everybody's just excited for some random new ship, it's not that simple. Let's talk about why the newest ship coming to Star Citizen has people so pumped. And for all of you, ah, people are gonna be so disappointed cause no gameplay. People, I've got a word for you. Thank you for coming to my tomato talk. What's the best way to play Star Citizen right now? I bet at least 50% of you immediately thought, with others. Friends, org mates, random pilots, your baby niece, it doesn't matter who, this game is more fun with people. So let's take a look at what medium sized ships you can reliably bring your friends along on, as well as maybe a vehicle and some cargo. Here's what I think stacks up to the Mercury Star Runner. Let's start with the Cutlass Black. It's the smallest go-to multi-crew ship that easily fits a vehicle and some friends in it. But if you want some cargo, nah, you're gonna have to make that choice, vehicle or cargo. And don't even think about a large rover, you can't get an Ursa in there. The ship also only has one turret and no habitation area. It doesn't feel quite like a deep space multi-crew ship and has some obvious drawbacks. Now, the freelancer Max, a great ship for cargo running and a solid ship for vehicle storage as well is actually the best comparison to the Mercury Star Runner in my opinion. That being said, I think it's just as good a ship as the Mercury Star Runner to enjoy your general day-to-day -day activities in. The Corsair is quite honestly just as interesting a choice for a small multi-crew play as the Mercury. Living quarters, space to breathe, a vehicle bay with room for storage, defensible turrets, and a ramp to load your vehicle up rather than an elevator. The only thing holding it back thus far from challenging the Star Runner is that, well, it isn't out yet. Oh. And there's one more reason. Oh yeah, and it's Drake. But it's another ship that I'm very excited for that I think people will love for the same reasons as the Star Runner, including how good it looks. Finally, the Constellation a good deal larger than the Mercury, but we'll include it here as a good baseline for what this application calls for. One of the oldest large ships in the game, the Connie is the best representation of a mid to large size multi-crew ship we have. It is a great general purpose ship with tons of room, space for a vehicle or cargo, manageable turrets for defense, living quarters, and even space for an additional snub ship. It's a better choice than the Mercury Star Runner by all measures, really, except maybe data running and smuggling, but those aren't in the game and we're looking at the current game right now. The main things that differentiate these two ships are the size and profile, which can make a big difference when it comes to traveling in between different star systems or flying in atmosphere, but is mostly up to personal preference. I personally think that most players want to pack as many people and cargo into as small a ship as possible for easier flight and convenience while playing Star Citizen. So, looking at the ships with the same capabilities as the Star Runner in the game, you currently have the Freelancer Max and the Constellation, with the Connie being a good deal larger. Guys, this isn't really hard to fathom. It's a medium ship with storage space, vehicle space, a ramp to load those vehicles, areas for multiple players to have their own space, turrets to defend yourself, and beds to log off and on with. Quite frankly, the fact that data running isn't in the game takes away a pretty small amount of the draw to this ship, considering there's only one other ship at this size that can provide a semblance of this experience. So, no, we aren't going to see everybody huff and puff because this ship isn't exactly what they expected. And no, this isn't going to die after release like the Carrick did because the Carrick, it didn't die. It's currently one of the best ships in the game to use with others and continues to be incredibly valuable to groups of players. Think less about the bespoke features that we expect to be in the game and more about what people are doing in the game with the current feature set and you may find yourself not that surprised why people are so excited for a great all-arounder mid-sized ship all this being said have you seen the looks on this ship 
Obviously people like ships that look good to them. The Corsair, the 890 Jump, the 100 series, the Valkyrie, the Hercules, the Eclipse, these are all great looking ships. Thus, they get the people going. And that's okay. If you put the Mercury Star Runner next to the Freelancer and told me they had the same feature set, I'm picking the Mercury 12 times out of 10. That's all that's happening here. People like a good looking ship. Of course, it is subjective. Some people like the Freelancer. That's okay. But you're wrong. So I'll break this down into a few points. Why is the Mercury Star Runner so hyped? One, it's a multi crew ship. Multi crew ships are the bread and butter of Star Citizen. And mid sized ships of this class aren't that popular, so people are inevitably excited for it. Two, it's a good looking ship. It's a great looking ship, and the devs have even said that this ship was modeled with the Millennium Falcon in mind, so that wins it a little bit of love as well. Three, it's a new manufacturer. Crusader hasn't had any ships in the game yet, so this is exciting and interesting and new. And four, I will admit people are excited for data running. It's not coming now, but it will be there in the future, and people look forward to getting a ship that will offer them that opportunity when that profession arrives. Now, I will say that I think most people know what they're getting into when they buy this ship. They're not going into 311 thinking, well, crap, I thought I was going to be able to data run already. So while it helps, I don't really think that's setting the stage right now. I think it's kind of like getting the Retaliator or the Polaris because you think torpedoes are going to be awesome in the future. So we don't really worry about that too much. So there you have it. My opinion on why this ship is so hyped. I'm sure some other people have opinions and reasons why it is, but this is just what I think. The ship is going to be a good one for multi-crew play. It's a great general ship even while its main gameplay isn't in the game yet. And it's going to be fun for small groups of friends to explore the verse and take on missions with. So let them have that. If you disagree, well, come join my Discord and let's talk about it because I know the group is going to be lit with conversation after this goes live. You can also find me on Twitch and call me out in the middle of my gameplay as well. By the way, if you're new to Star Citizen, consider joining me for Newcomer Wednesdays on Twitch where I take newcomers out and show them what the game has to offer. Finally, I have giveaways running on Twitch, but also right here where you can win ships at the end of every month, so make sure to check that out in the video description. Thanks again for checking out this video, and I'll catch you guys later.